Hi, my name is Maria. I'm a mathematician, and today I'm going to talk to you about algebra and the Pythagorean theorem. So the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, is used in right triangles, and it's used to show the relationship between the different sides of a right triangle. And it's really important to be able to label our right triangle correctly and know which part is which. So A and B are always going to be the legs of my right triangle. When I say legs, I mean the two sides that form the right angle. So that's A and that's B, and they are interchangeable because these form the right angle. C is called my hypotenuse, and there's two ways to remember the hypotenuse that you need to know both of them. One is that it's always going to be the longest side of the right triangle, and two is that it's always going to be across from the right angle. So first you have to make sure you have your triangle labeled correctly, A and B being the legs and C being the hypotenuse. Now to use the Pythagorean theorem, it depends on which two sides of the triangle you're given. So if I'm given C and B, for example, let's say I'm told that this is 10 inches and I'm told that B is 6 inches and I'm asked to find the value of A. When I go to substitute into the Pythagorean theorem, I have to be sure that I substitute into the correct variable. So I don't know A, I'm gonna leave A alone. I do know B is six inches, so I'm gonna write six squared equals, C is 10 inches, so I'm gonna write 10 squared, and now I'm just gonna simplify. A squared plus 36 equals 100. And now this is a two-step equation. I'm gonna subtract 36 from both sides. And when I do that, I'm gonna get A squared equals 64. But I'm not done because I have A squared and I need the, I need just a. So in order to just find a, you have to do the inverse of squaring, which is square rooting. And when I do that, I get a equals 8, and I know the missing side of my right triangle is 8 inches. Now you just have to be careful because if you are already given a and b, then that's what you're plugging in, and you never have to use inverse operations. The only thing you have to do is square root each side at the end of it. So write your Pythagorean theorem, label your right triangle correctly, substitute correctly, and then simplify and don't, take, don't forget to take the square root at the end. My name is Maria and I just showed you how to use the Pythagorean theorem.